Hey guys, this is Ann Turnbull. Wonderful to see you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is day 31 of the 90 day run. So I am so happy to be back and to be uh, to be coaching live. Uh, we have had a lot of great, great, great content, more to come. And I have to tell you that I have been, um, I have been back in Nigeria now for about, um, oh, 10 days or so since, since January 21st. I'm just going to see if I can find myself here on Facebook. I can't really see what's going on. Uh, so I've been back since January 21st, and I, I started prospecting again um, the week after I got back, and it has been so, so, so fun. So I'm really, really focused on um, doing all the same things you're doing, talking to people, having conversations every single day. I've kind of figured out a few things that have been helpful for me as far as organizing my calls um, I'm doing a lot of my prospecting from social media and, and booking calls, just booking them left, right, and center. I do a first reach out, then I'm asking them if they'll connect, telling them we're expanding in their area. And then I do a, a second message asking if they're open to a short call. And then I do the call, uh, have a short conversation. I end up um, building a little rapport with them. And then um, from there, we go on and I share my first information and then I book the second call and then bang, bang, bang. And I'm using the, the six question close. I'm using the sharing a tool script. I'm using all the things exactly as we are being taught and it is working like butter. So let me tell you the topic of today's coaching. That is um, try, show, sorry, tell, show, try, do. Tell, show, try, do. So what does that mean exactly? You know, when you are uh, finding someone to join your business, someone to start their own business, the average person will know at least 200 people, right? I'm sure if you looked at your phone, if you looked at your um, social media, if you people know people, and I'm sure most of you know a lot more than 200 people. But if you look at your uh, contacts, and every single person is going to have contacts as well. They're all going to have at least 200 contacts. So the idea of this is how do you get your people started? And the idea of anything that we're doing in trying to duplicate skills, trying to create skills, is we're going to tell them how to do something. We're going to show them how to do something. They are going to try it themselves, and then they're going to be doing it. So tell, show, try, and do. This is going to be a really, really short coaching. I know everyone is, is super busy. So um, we want you to just get back to work and prospecting. But the, the idea of this is that, let's say someone joined your business since January, okay? You have a new person. You've recruited someone out of this. If you've recruited someone since you started the 90-day run, if you've recruited any new associate, then put a number three into the chat okay if you've recruited anyone i'm going to come back and look at the chat later on so if you've recruited anyone since you started the 90 day run in january put a three into the chat so if you've recruited anyone what you want to be doing is this you want to tell them what to do all right tell them how to use the the hot market approach for support tell them how to use the hot market um, support for practice, tell them how to use the direct approach, right? Using the, using the script to share a tool. You know what? I, I thought of you. I know that you would be so amazing in this business. There's nobody I'd rather work with than you. And, you know, I just, I would, I would love to work with you. If I sent you a link to something that gives you an idea of what I'm doing now, would you take a look at it? And then we can talk again. That is a direct um, that is a direct approach. So teach them all those things, but then show them. So now what you want is you want introductions to their contacts. Okay, they should be making their list already. That's one of the first things they should be doing. And now you're going to be um, getting introductions to their contacts. And you are going to be showing them exactly how to talk to their contacts. All right. So 
have them set up a call with you, have them set up a conversation with you. They can introduce you and then you will just have the conversation. All right. You will do the sharing the, the script tool. Maybe you'll do the hot market support request. You know, listen, John's told me a lot about you, how important you are in his life. And uh, he he's a great guy. I know that he's going to be so great in our business. I'm really excited to be working with them. You know, he he right right now what he really just needs is a little support. And he told me that you were one of the most important people in his life. And it would really mean the world to him if you would commit to just trying the product for a month and giving it a try and giving him your honest feedback. Is that something that you could support him with during this launch of his business? So, you know, you could do the hot market, you could do the direct. You know what John has told me a lot about you. He said you're one of the most business minded people that he knows, and he thinks you'd be a great fit for the business that we're expanding in your area. You know, if if he sent you a link to take a look at something that gives you an introduction to what it is we're doing, would you be willing to look at it and then give your feedback? All right, so show them what to do. Talk to their people for them. Help them walk through. Do a second call with the follow-up and the close, the six-question close, right? Great. What did you like best about what you saw? Ah, oh, good. On a scale of one to 10, I know you have a lot of questions, but on a scale of one to 10, um, where would you put your interest level in looking at this as a business where 10 is really interested, one is not interested? Where would you put your interest level? Okay, that's great. Let, let me ask you a few questions. Then you ask them, how much would they need to earn in a month? For me, um, because I'm working primarily in Africa, I tend to say, how much would you need to earn in a month, let's say in US dollars, in order to make it worth your time, in order to make it worth your effort? Sometimes people don't really understand the questions, then you have to reframe it a bit, or you have to repeat it a time or two. It's fine, you can do that. But you're going to be showing your um, team member exactly what these calls sound like. Okay, so they're gonna be on the line with you, you're going to be doing the call for their person and then eventually signing the person up for them. And then gradually they will start to try it themselves and then they will start doing it and then they can start teaching it. OK, so this is the idea. If you signed up a new person in January, you want to go back to them and make sure you, you work with them on their list and then have them start introducing people to you. OK, so that you can actually do the first call, the second call, the close and carry it right through so, so they can hear what it sounds like. So imagine if you had 10 people that you'd signed up and they each have 200 people on their list. And, you know, let's say you were working with them and even 10 of those people, even you had one person, they had 200 people on their list. So you started making calls with them. 10 of them signed up. OK, so 10 of them. Now you have 2000 people to talk to because 10 people with 200 people each on their list, 2000 people. It's a way that you will never, ever, 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 ever run out of prospects to speak to. Never. So it's it's pretty exciting to know that, you know, you, you never have to think you're going to be um, running out of people to talk to because you will always have people in your team and they will always have people that they know. So the assignment for day 31 is to go back to anyone you've signed up in the last little while and let them know that you want to help them in their business and that you are going to be telling them what to do. Then you're going to be showing them by actually doing it with them and you doing the work and then they're going to be trying it and then they're going to be doing it. So if you haven't signed up anyone at all, if you've signed anyone up, go back and do this with them. If you haven't signed anyone up at all, then you your assignment is to move heaven and earth to have at least one person signed up, at least one person signed up and do this with them. Tell, show, try and do. All right. Tell, show, try and do. So that's it. Super short, super short coaching for today. Um, that's all we wanted to cover for today. Keep in action, okay? Keep in action. I know for me, one of the things that I'm finding for, for me and my own calls is I'm booking a lot of calls every day. A few things that I've had to figure out for, for me, because I have other things going on too, 
is that I have blocked times for my calls. Okay, so I blocked a certain period, um, usually about five to six hours, okay? Yeah, five to six hours, pretty much, four to six hours for prospecting calls and follow-up calls every day. It could be longer some days. And then what I also do is I, in my, in my notebook, I actually write down call slots that I have available. And as I start to fill them in, I can quickly glance and know that those are the times. I What I was doing at first, which was really killing me, is I was just taking calls, 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 and just booking too many calls. Like I would book them every 15 minutes. So I was booking calls every 15 minutes, and I found that I, I was getting overwhelmed because my calls, when I'm doing a first call after social media, they take me 10 minutes on average for a first call and 15 minutes on average for a second call. When I go through the six step closing, I tell them how I'm gonna work with them. I ask if they have any questions and then I ask them if they're ready to get started. So that's how long it takes me to do a live call. And um, that these are with people I don't know, remember. So if you know someone, it's not gonna take you that long. So I was booking too many calls in an hour. So now what I've decided to do and it's really working well is I book a call, let's say at 5 p.m., 5.15 p.m., 5.30 p.m., and then at 6, 6.15, 6 6.30, 7. So I have a 15-minute slot or flex time in that window that gives me time to catch up, write the notes into the contacts, uh, write the appointments into my calendar, um, do everything I need to do to tidy up. Because I find when I'm making calls, if I don't write the notes right away into their contact, if I don't book the appointment into my calendar and write it down in my notebook, if I don't write it write down that I've spoken to them on my list, if I don't tidy everything up right then, I find that I get overwhelmed and I lose track. And then I lose track of my follow-ups and people are expecting to hear from me and, and it doesn't really work. So, you know, the plan do review is really, really helping me because as I worked on it last night, my plan do review is the last thing I do before I close up shop for the night, my plan do review what is working well, what isn't working well. And I, I've started to block times. That's all coming out of plan, do, review. So I'm getting a little bit better every single day. So I would encourage you make sure every day you plan, do, review. At the end of the day, you review the day, what went well, what did you, what did you wish you would have improved on and what will you work on for tomorrow to do just a little bit better than you did today? Okay, that is going to help you like you wouldn't believe. All right, everyone. So have an awesome, awesome night. We'll see you here tomorrow. One thing I want you to know, Saturday this, um, this week, so today's Thursday. So tomorrow we'll have live coaching, but Saturday night we will not have live coaching and we will not have a BOM. We will not have a business opportunity meeting because the accelerators are in uh, Facebook and Instagram workshop. That's good news for you because that means on Monday, you are going to have Facebook and Instagram training and uh, our amazing Diamond Wattmaster is going to be giving that training, okay? So Saturday, no live coaching, no live, no BOM. Uh, we have many recorded versions of the BOMs. If you want to send your prospect to one of them, that's on the Crown Diamond Global Impact YouTube channel. Crown Diamond Global Impact YouTube channel. So just go there, find the one that you love and you can share that one with your um, with your prospect, if you like. All right, everyone, thank you. Have an awesome, awesome night. Okay, bye-bye.